my name is Will and today I'm going to take you on a tour of my family's barn at the horse race training facility. That was my dad. I'm not going to go in detail on anything particular. I'm just going to really just show a tour and talk about the different things that we do and then go over the track and just show you all the track and how the facility really is. On later videos I'm going to really go into detail on particular things so stay tuned for those videos and it's about 45 minutes away so let's let's go check it out <laughs> So here we are first walking into the barn and this is our barn my family's and e this barn and actually each barn has 20 stalls and at our barn we most of the horses in our barn are boarded so people actually pay pretty much like pay rent to keep their horses there and on the right you'll see some bermuda hay bermuda's pretty good hay it's not the best it's not quite as good as alfalfa at our barn, we have a lot of young horses, and young horses tend to crib, which is chew on the wood of the stall. And due to that, we put in a, some toys and other things that they can actually play with and, and chew on rather than chewing on the stall. Cribbing is not good for the horse or the material that they're chewing. So this is the walking wheel in the back of our barn, which is used to warm the horse up before he goes out to train and also to cool him down after the training. It's important to use a walking wheel. You don't want to put your horse right into the stall after training. Moving on to the back of the barn, you'll find the wash rack on the back wall. We have two wash racks. A wash rack is pretty self-explanatory. It's where you would bring a horse to give it a bath. We also have these cross ties which hold the horse while we bathe it just so the horse does not hurt itself or hurt anyone else. It's very necessary, especially when you're dealing with young horses so they don't get out and cause any damage. Safety is really important. Here you'll see some washing, a washing machine and a dryer. That is just used for any linens that need clean. And in the back is where we store our Bermuda hay. Now, this is the other aisle. Now, just looking at the aisle, one thing you need to know if you're gonna have a horse barn is keeping the, the aisles clean of any debris. Because if you're gonna have race horses, it's very important to take care of your horse's feet. So here I'm walking up to a new horse that I've never seen before. And if you're gonna be petting a horse that has never dealt with you before, you typically wanna let them smell you first and be aware that they're probably gonna bite you, honestly. So just be prepared to, to jerk your, to, to move your hand and allow them to smell you to get used to you before you really just start petting them. So as we walk back to the front of the barn, you can see that there are more horses in the stalls to my right. And to my left, you can see the blocks of shavings, some feed and some hay bales. These are pine shavings and they are typically spread on the floor of stalls to give cushion for the horse's feet and also to soak up urine so that way it doesn't make a big mess. Here's some more hay. On the right, you'll see Bermuda, and this one hay bale on the bottom left is alfalfa, which is more rich in nutrients than Bermuda. It's also more expensive, but it is better hay to give your horse if it needs more nutrients. In the front of the barn, we have some signs that protect us from lawsuits if people do get hurt, and also we do require people wear a vest and helmet while they're riding. So that's all for the barn. Now let's go check out the track. As we walk to the track, we come across this trail, which is a trail for easy access for the horses to get from the barns to the track. And as we look down at the sand, we could tell this is really high quality sand. It's Mississippi River sand, which is identical from the sand that they use at the racetrack. 
So we've made it to the track and as you can see on this sign here, training hours are only from 5 a.m. to 12.30. It is about 1 p.m. so nobody's training right this moment. Coming from my left here, you'll see a water truck which just ensures that the sand is the right consistency throughout the day. And this is one of the reasons barn owners must pay a monthly fee. Now on the back side of the track, you'll find the starting gates. That's what this is here. These are practice starting gates to train young horses to start get used to them because it is claustrophobic in there. That's why they have these paddings for when horses get nervous and kind of freak out. They, they will hit themselves on this padding rather than metal. So that concludes the video for today. Please let me know how I did in the comment section. This is my first video, so any feedback I get is much appreciated. And stay tuned for more videos. Check out our website at horseracingsense.com and thanks for watching.